going on, Dragon Ball fans? We have some brand new promotional work for the upcoming Dragon Ball Super 2018 movie, which of course, as you guys can see on screen, courtesy of Yonko Productions, we have ourselves the first look of Goku, Vegeta, Beerus, Whis, and Piccolo for this upcoming movie. Now, I want to go on ahead and talk about this for a bit because this is our legitimate first look at Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Beerus, Whis, and Piccolo in this upcoming movie. Now, I know what you might be thinking here. Where are some of the other characters, such as perhaps Gohan and maybe some of the Universe 6 characters. Where is the movie villain? Well, just as for the newly confirmed Dragon Ball Heroes anime, more scans and more information will be revealed in the next couple of days. But for this, what gets me excited about this is seeing the fact that a lot of our speculation and theories as to whether or not the gods are going to be involved in this film have now come into fruition and the idea that Beerus and Whis may in fact be included in this film because why else would they include Beerus and Whis on promotional work if they don't plan on introducing them in this upcoming movie. Now, we understand that the story is going to be centered around the Saiyans, where their power comes from, and how strong they've ultimately have gotten since the beginning in predating history. So we know that Toriyama is going to have a multi-layered story going into the past and also touching up on the present. So with that, it only makes sense to see some of our heroes return, and the designs look incredible. Now, you may be asking, is Super Saiyan Blue going to be introduced? Are we going to see potentially new transformations? What about the other Saiyans? Well, again, that that's to be revealed in the next couple of days, perhaps even weeks, because I am anticipating personally a trailer in the next couple of weeks, because as we enter June, it's going to mark six months until the movie debuts on December 14th. Now, Shintani's character designs look very interesting to me, because it's very different as opposed to seeing Takahashi and Shida's design, because so many people are used to what they've already seen and experienced in Dragon Ball Super, so now they're trying to kind of stray away from that and giving us different different animation, different designs, which to me, it looks pretty cool. Now, the one thing that I'm really anticipating is seeing whether or not they're going to introduce this new villain anytime soon, because that is someone that we are all waiting to ultimately have be revealed, because he is going to be one of the key components as to what makes this movie so special. So, what I want to know from you guys is your overall expectations, your speculations for this upcoming movie, because there is so much to talk about when it comes down to the lore of the Saiyans, where their power originates from and what their context is going to be in this film and why exactly Beerus and Whis are going to be involved. Is it due to the idea that maybe perhaps Beerus knows about something that both Goku and Vegeta do not? Is Whis going to be more involved in explaining the heritage of the Saiyans and pretty much predating all the way back to the beginning as to where their powers originated from? Because it's very ideal that at the end of Super, Vegeta spoke to Goku about how the Saiyans could potentially grow to become even stronger than how they are now. Now, which is pretty fascinating to me and the idea that they can even surpass their current levels and what we saw during the tournament of power so in the end guys this is the first ever promotional work it looks pretty cool and i cannot wait for this movie we're just about seven months away give or take with a few days which i am very excited for and if you guys have missed out the groundbreaking news on the dragon ball heroes anime having to debut make sure you guys check out the previous videos prior to this because now we're going to be getting another anime that separates and is not connected to Dragon Ball Super because a lot of people are wondering if Dragon Ball Heroes or Super Dragon Ball Heroes is going to be connected to the continuity of Dragon Ball Super, the anime and the manga, and it will not. It's going to be its own spin-off. It's going to be its own thing. It's not going to directly influence the, the events of the Tournament of Power or it's going to affect anything that we saw in Dragon Ball Super. So if you're wondering Dragon Ball Heroes replacing Super, that's not the case at all. It's not going to be replacing Super. In fact, it's going to be debuting in July, which we do have about two months or so until it debuts, which is pretty cool, but if you're wondering about Super Dragon Ball Heroes, aka Dragon Ball Heroes, connecting to Dragon Ball Super or the movie, it will not. So this is the first ever look, guys, on the promotional art, which I'm very excited for. Now, I'm actually kind of curious as to why Piccolo is in the mix. I'm wondering if Piccolo is going to have any relevant role in helping Goku, Vegeta, or at least having partial, you know, influence as to what happens in this movie because so far the one person that I was looking forward in seeing was Gohan and we don't see Gohan anywhere we don't see the other universe six Saiyans which kind of makes me question as to what the overall direction is going to be however we also have Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 36 
that's going to be premiering, I think, within the next couple of days on the 21st for Viz Media, so make sure you guys come back onto this channel, and if you guys are stoked for the upcoming film, slap a like on the video because this movie is going to be groundbreaking in nature. It's going to be going back and forth throughout time in terms of placements, the present, the future, whatever the case may be, whatever they decide to do, and Toriyama actually went on, you know, as confirmed by Herms, to state that there is, there is going to be loads of fan fiction in here as well, fan service per se, so that's going to be very interesting to see what they do there, but in the end, guys, let me know your thoughts on the designs, let me know your thoughts on Dragon Ball Heroes, let me know your thoughts on the movie, guys, thank you all so much for watching, if you guys are stoked, ready, and excited for more Dragon Ball content, guys, slap a like on the video if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button, guys, turn on all notifications, tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys in the next Dragon Ball video, cue my motherfucking outro, bitch.